，手机，手机，还是手机。放眼望去，人手一机。不过您的手机安全吗？以美国来说，手机市场在最近十五年迅速发展。一九九六年，全美只有三千四百万人拥有手机。不过这数字到今天已经接近三亿。换句话说，上亿人口手上拿着不定时炸弹，而且用手机时间越久，越可能为人体带来伤害。Turns out participants in the study who use a cell phone for 10 years or more had doubled the rate of brain glioma, a type of tumor. 讲手机怎么会得脑瘤？我们实验给大家看。This is a model. This is supposed to approximate the human skull in adult male. This is my phone that we've actually attached there. It's it's connected at the angle that most people would speak with. And inside over here, very important, this bubbly liquid inside. That's what represents liquid brain. 用盐巴、糖和水调和出的脑浆，在电磁波的干扰下开始泡沫化。医生说，年纪越小，脑部泡沫化的范围会越广。从小开始讲手机，等四十岁时得脑瘤的几率会增加二点五倍。Their skull is thinner, their scalp is thinner, so the microwave radiation can penetrate deeper into the brain of children and young adults. 未来电磁波相当接近微波，虽然手机发射的电磁波功率不比微波炉，讲久了还是会出事。如果不想讲手机却煮大脑，您可以这样做。The safety instructions specifically say when using the iPhone near your body for voice calls, keep it at least 15 millimeters or five eighths of an inch away from your body. What if you're a BlackBerry user specifically? They also have safety guidelines. In this case, they say keep it 0.98 inches or 25 millimeters from your body. Meaning your head, or really even your pocket. 手机有害人体，只是为了卖更多手机，业者不会告诉我们而已。TVBS 新闻人员，这么多。